I'm Jeff with Suprema Tech Support for the North America office. Today I'm going to be showing you our BioLite N2 reader. Um, just what it is, it's a, a biometric reader, fingerprint reader with RFID as well as keypad and display. Um, on the unit here, side of the box, is the model number, which th we have three different versions of it depending on which car types you want to use. This one is the BioLite N2 ODP, is an Oscar Delta Bravo. Um, and what you can do with this unit, go ahead and open it up. First, we have our drilling template. What this is, it's a sticker you peel off, put on the wall, so you can um, know where to mount it and where to do cutouts for the wiring to come through the wall. And then your uh, quick guide for the unit as well. It talks about the wiring and color codes and so forth for the unit. Um, insulation kit comes with a diode and then resistors and then mounting hardware, screws, anchors, and then a magnet to run the wires through to prevent possible interference. So with the BioLite N2, um, it can be a standalone unit and not connected to the system. So if you only have a single door at the particular facility you wanna use, you could use this as a standalone and you can add all the users in from the, the device itself. So you can enroll them here, add the users and so forth. And if you have multiple systems or multiple doors, you can, um, you, you would use our BioStar 2 software, which is free to use and download up to five doors for access control. Um, now, if you need more doors than that, you would um, need to purchase some licensing for that, which you would purchase through our distribution as well. Um, so for this unit, this is the front of it. This is card reader where you present a card, um, fingerprint, where you present your finger, and then the number keypads and some function buttons to access menus and whatnot on the unit. Um, on the back here, we have a couple of uh, different sets of cables. So we have the ethernet cable. This is not PoE, so this is just regular ethernet going here. Power, 12 volts in. And then you would just connect, just cut this connector off and then wire into your 12 volt power source. And then this is pigtail. Um, we've had people ask, do we have adapters for this? But no, we do not. So you would just cut the particular wires you would need for this unit. So, like I said, you can use this as a standalone unit because this has built-in relays and two inputs. So you can connect your door lock to this directly and what, use an external power source for the lock. And then you can use, connect your door position switch, your door contacts, as well as your Rex being a PIR or Rex button. Um, and then we also have 45 connections. So you can connect other readers to this as slave, or this could be a slave to a core station or to another reader as well. And then we also have um, Wigan out, so you can connect to a third party controller if you need to just use this as a reader to a third party controller and then use the relays and inputs off of that unit itself. <laughs> On the back here, we have a wiring diagram, actually on the mounting plate, when it's mounted on the wall, you got a color code for all the wires and let you know what each of those are. So it can be kind of convenient when working in the field. And then once again on the back here, 